Welcome back to the Crypto Bot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is running into an important level of resistance. And also, later in this video, I'll be talking about a new altcoin that I just accumulated. So definitely stick around for that. But first, let's take a look at the four-hour Ethereum chart. And we still have the golden pockets, which is the most important Fibonacci level, coming in at just underneath 2,900. And at the time of recording this video, Ethereum is still sitting underneath that important level of resistance. So basically, 2,900 is definitely the first level to break above in order to see more bullish price action. Otherwise, if we don't break above that level sometime soon, then we do run the risk of a possible rejection. Kind of like what we saw just yesterday, we continue to find a lot of resistance along the golden pocket, and then we simply saw a rejection. But if you're zooming out to the 12 hour time frame for Ethereum, technically speaking, looking at all of these indicators right here, they are all pointing in the bullish direction as they have been doing for a couple days now. But only just recently, over the past one day, the Ethereum 12 hour RSI has just put in its first higher low, which is now technically confirmed this shorter term uptrend in the Ethereum RSI. And in case you were new to the channel, the last time that we saw all three of these indicators line up in the bullish direction was pretty much exactly one month ago, just as the price of Ethereum was beginning a shorter term uptrend that lasted for the next couple of weeks. But remember, in a possible shorter term uptrend, we can still find resistance along the way, such as that golden pocket that I just mentioned coming in at around 2850 to 2900. And then when you're zooming out on the daily time frame, looking in the VPVR indicator, we've got a massive range of resistance starting at around 3,000 US dollars and that is going up towards around 3.3k. And then also when you're looking at this daily time frame, we've got this other point of resistance at around 3.1k to 3.2k. So really the majority of resistance for Ethereum in the shorter term at least is in between around 2,900 and around 3.2k. And for those of you that have been watching my other Ethereum update videos recently on the channel, you would already know about this pattern right here. But for anyone that is new to the channel, what we normally see when Ethereum is bottoming out after a significant move to the downside is the Ethereum price converging in on itself, forming a triangle pattern the majority of the time. You can even zoom out much further on the chart and discover that Ethereum has been doing this for years now, even at the end of the 2018 bear market. So the fact that the price of Ethereum is converging in on itself, forming another one of these triangle patterns after we saw a significant move to the downside. According to Ethereum's price history, this could be seen as more of a bullish signal, possibly meaning that Ethereum is bottoming out. But I want to make it clear that this only really gets confirmed after we break above this point of resistance that I just mentioned earlier. Now taking a quick look in the Bitcoin dominance charts and just over the past one day we have seen a move to the upside. Of course while the Bitcoin price has been moving to the upside but if you're looking in the RSI for the Bitcoin dominance on the daily time frame this is still trending to the downside. So even if the Bitcoin dominance starts putting in a slightly higher high the fact that the RSI is still sitting at these lower levels could form just another bearish divergence and obviously in that scenario that would be bearish for the Bitcoin dominance and bullish for the overall altcoin market. But then if we see a major breakout in the RSI forming new higher highs, a possible scenario like that would invalidate this bearish divergence. And what's very interesting is that while the Bitcoin dominance has been forming a bearish divergence, there's been quite a few altcoins form a bullish divergence on their daily timeframes. And one of those altcoins that I just bought into yesterday was Solana. So this right here is the Solana to US dollar chart on the daily timeframe. And we can see a couple things here. First of all, the price has formed lower lows on the daily timeframe while the daily RSI has formed higher lows. So that is obviously a bullish divergence, which is technically bullish for the price. And on top of that, the price action itself on the daily timeframe has formed a falling wedge pattern, which technically speaking is a bullish pattern. And if you want the statistics for this pattern, around seven times out of 10, it breaks to the upside and about three times out of 10, it breaks to the downside. So even though it's not impossible for it to break to the downside, it is simply more likely for it to break to the upside, which is potentially what Solana is trying to do right now. But I want to make it clear that we have not confirmed a breakout to the upside, at least just yet. And yes, there can be some negatives when it comes to Solana, such as it might be more centralized than something like Ethereum. But Solana is one of those Ethereum competitors that has kind of been forgotten about because of all of this bearish price action. And so when you keep that in mind, and also when you're looking at the RSI entering into oversold territories, forming bullish divergences and seeing bullish patterns in the price action, then to me at least, it made logical sense to at least accumulate some Solana here. And if we see a little bit more confirmation of this breakout moving forward, then I might add to that position. But I want to make it clear that that is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research, especially when it comes to altcoins. And also when you're looking at the Solana to Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame, we are forming a bullish divergence over here as well, which is another reason why I did pick up some Solana recently, because if Solana looked really bullish against the US dollar, but really bearish against Bitcoin, then in a scenario like that, it would make logical sense to just buy Bitcoin. And in fact, I was looking further back on the Solana to Bitcoin chart on the daily 
daily time frame to see the last time that we formed a bullish divergence and that was all the way at the end of 2020 and you can see what came next for Solana against Bitcoin. Now I want to make it clear that the market is definitely in a different situation right now compared to back then but this is just to give you an idea of what has happened at previous bullish divergences and what is very interesting is if you're looking at that same time period but for Solana against the US dollar we also formed a bullish divergence but when you're looking in the price action during that stage in the market the price itself was also forming a falling wedge pattern while we were seeing a bullish divergence pretty much exactly like what we're seeing right now and once again you can see the outcome that came next for Solana but as I just said I would not expect the exact same gains as what we saw back then because first of all the starting point for Solana back then was obviously much lower so we had a lot more room to the upside compared to right now and also the majority of the crypto market was pumping during that time in the market whereas right now it's not exactly the same but besides from that a bullish divergence is a bullish divergence and a falling wedge is a falling wedge so technically speaking it would simply make sense if we play out some sort of bullish price action from here on the daily time frame but keep in mind we can still see short-term bearish price action along the way anyway if you found this video useful please make sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day and before you click off definitely make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already i've got a full trading tutorial video and a passive income video which are both there to help you make more money in the crypto markets but anyway that is everything that i have to say for today i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video